What is up guys, it's your boy, still somehow sick cacus, so please excuse my voice again, but today we have some absolutely massive developments to the breaking Destiny 2 and Bungie news that happened yesterday. And so, let's get started. Now, in broad strokes, what happened yesterday was a wave of layoffs hit Bungie. There was some initial reports on what exactly departments were impacted. We have some updates on that. And also, it was reported that the next major expansion, the final shape, would be delayed all the way until June 2024 from its original release date within February. Now, Bungie has not confirmed or denied this officially, but with all the things that are happening, it really looks to be true. I did do a video on the news that came out yesterday. That's going to be linked up above if you want any more detail on either of those things. But let's talk about the developments, the additional information that came out since that video was made. First of all, here is Destiny Bulletin reporting, here are some of the disciplines that have been affected by the layoffs at Bungie so far, because yesterday we speculated that it looked like the community and social teams were being impacted quite a bit, but I did say that could be that the obviously the social team is most active on social media. They're the people who are going to be tweeting about this that you're going to see first and foremost. And it does look like that was partially true because uh, the community team was impacted. Social, marketing, publishing, art, QA, support, legal, HR, and production. So this means that people went into the tweets of people who were laid off, looked at where they're working at Bungie, and all of these different departments were impacted. Now keep in mind, we do not have an official source for how many people were laid off or anything like that. So this is just us kind of relying on the employees themselves coming out and saying that they were laid off. So again, these numbers and these departments may be skewed. Next up, the CEO of Bungie, Pete Parsons, made a statement on the news. So he says, Today is a sad day at Bungie as we say goodbye to colleagues who have all made a significant impact on our studio. What these exceptional individuals have contributed to our games and Bungie culture has been enormous and will continue to be a part of Bungie long into the future. These are truly talented people. If you have any openings, I would highly recommend each and every one of them. And this statement has been getting absolutely clowned on. Like, Pete Parsons is getting beat up in the quote tweets. Oh my goodness. People are calling this tone deaf, and it frankly is. It sounds like it was an act of God that swept these employees away, like a storm came and swept them away, and Pete's like, they were exceptional. They worked so hard, they changed the culture of the studio. My brother in Christ, you are the Bungie CEO. You laid them off. Like, that's just such a weird thing to lay these people off and say, yeah, they were great. Well, then if they're... Why why did you lay them off then? It just doesn't make any sense. And again, it's being received extremely poorly. And everyone is, of course, replying with this little screenshot right here, an article where Bungie leadership assured employees that the Sony deal would not result in layoffs and restructuring. So that was a lie, right? Like, this is clearly going against what you've stated earlier, Pete. But after all of this happened is when things went truly nuclear. So it was reported that Michael Salvatore, the composer of the Destiny OST, was also laid off. And this is from his official website. As you can see, he's listing his accolades. And this guy worked on pretty much every single Destiny soundtrack that came out since the very beginning, since OG Vanilla Destiny. For all of Destiny and Destiny 2's faults, the music has always been top tier. Like, it has propelled this game forward by such a margin. Like, the art direction and the music for this franchise has always been some of the best ever. And now, this is what he's updated his profile to on his official website. Gone fishing. So all the stuff that he's worked with with Bungie, he deletes, just writes, gone fishing. Wow. And obviously, the response to this has been overwhelming, with people going like, how can you possibly do this? Now, with the other layoffs, 
you could make the argument if you were looking at this as like a pure um, business perspective, like, all right, we're coming in here, we're going to enact our own vision on these employees, we're going to replace the social team because we want to go in a different direction, blah, blah, blah. You can make those arguments, but laying off the guy, the guy who has developed some of the most iconic soundtracks in gaming history. It just doesn't make any sense. This reeks of an executive looking at, you know, a sheet listing all the different expenditures and going, whoa, whoa, we're spending a lot on music. It's like, yeah, you're spending a lot on music because you hired the best. You got one of the best to ever do it. Like, of course you're spending money on that. And he's going, you know, I bet we could we could get someone new who could do it for cheaper. Yeah, undoubtedly you could, you dummy, but it's not going to be as good. Like, this is just beyond crazy. And it's very unfortunate. And like, this stands out from all the layoffs as being like pretty shocking. And now you also have to wonder like, who who's next? Like, who's next? Is there going to be more waves of layoffs in order to cut costs? This is very concerning. Now, on top of that, guys, what just happened not too long ago is that Paul Tassi, a journalist at Forbes, tweeted out the following. There's new info about the bungee layoffs per a source. Now, again, this is not 100% confirmed. This is like a source that's communicating with Paul Tassi. Um, now, I don't think Paul, he's been in the space for a long time. I don't think he's making this up. It's possible the source is giving him false information, but we don't know for sure. But uh, hey, you know, it's not looking good. And frankly, I'm pretty inclined to believe it. Now, the first point is the layoff decisions came directly from Bungie management, not Sony. This is not about Sony replacing Bungie employees with their own people. That already is huge. That was one of the main pieces of speculation from the community when they saw these layoffs that Sony bought Bungie. They would have a say and they may be going, listen, you know, we don't like how you're doing your social media. We don't like how you're doing whatever. We want some of our guys in those positions uh, so we can have a better working relationship or something like that. This is saying, no, 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 it was Bungie. It was Pete Parsons who was looking at a balance sheet going, you know, we can save some money here, I guess, by hi by firing the, the most iconic composer in video game history. I mean, not, not quite, but like that, that guy's up there. Anyways, that's already crazy. Second point, many employee benefits, though not health insurance, only last until the end of the month if you let go. Laying people off on the 30th means a single day of additional coverage. Wow, so scumbag move. So Pete was sitting there going, oh man, they got dental. We don't want to fire them and then they go and get that crown done. We're going to fire them on the 30th. They got one day to use up all their benefits. Now, this is completely legal. It's just a scumbag move. And also, the last point here, many employees had unvested shares as a result of the Sony purchase. These shares would be received based on staying with the company for a certain number of years following the sale. But those shares revert to Bungie if you leave even if you're fired, which is what's happening now to many of those affected. Oh my goodness. So when Sony bought Bungie, obviously, if you're a Bungie employee, you may not want Bungie to get sold. You may be going, I wanted to work for Bungie. I want to be hired for Bungie's principles and I don't want them to be owned by Sony and Sony's mucking around within this studio. But Bungie saying to those employees, listen, if you stay, we have incentives for you staying. If you work for X amount of years, you get a bunch of stock. And this stock is going to be extremely valuable. It just went through the roof probably after the Sony purchase for $3.6 billion. But hey, if you get laid off along the way, if you get laid off before you reach that two-year or four-year, whatever it is, mark, then all the stock, <clears throat> all that stock goes to us, goes to me, Pete. That is scary. Sketchy. That is crazy. So again, it's completely legal, but it is a scumbag move. 
Now listen, some of you may be sitting there going, baby, I'm a robber baron capitalist, right? You are not guaranteed employment is well within a company's right to lay you off if they feel like it would improve their outlook, their situation. And that's fine. However, this is Bungie we're talking about. And Bungie is known for being altruistic, right? Pete Parsons has played into this and made statements reinforcing this, that Bungie is not your normal company, that they have all of these charity foundations, like the Bungie Foundation does so much charity work. Uh, their Bungie store, they give away, I think, all profits uh, to charities. They're involved in a myriad of causes, and they have said, you know, we at Bungie, we're not your normal corporation, we're a family. And it looks like, although I'm sure a lot of employees believed it, I'm not sure Pete Parsons does. And so guys, with all this news, man, it really does make me worried for the future of the Destiny franchise. Everyone was out there saying, you know, is Destiny gonna continue after the final shape? And although Bungie has said yes, if they're pulling maneuvers like this, you know, they're firing people with one day left in the month so they can avoid paying them benefits, like stuff like that. Like, why you gotta do it like that? Why you gotta do it in the most scumbag way possible? And if that's the type of leadership Bungie has, are we confident in them going forward? Who knows? But the speculation now with many in the community, you know, Bungie went through a ton of different ownerships. They were owned by Microsoft, then they were owned by Activision, and now they're owned by Sony. And every single time they split from those partnerships, it was, oh, Microsoft was holding them back. Microsoft was the bad guy. Activision was the bad guy. Bungie was just trying to make the best game possible. Now, looking at what happened, you have to wonder, was it Bungie and Bungie leadership all along? Guys, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed, found this informative. Uh, if you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys wanna see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you wanna get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That is linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.